Okay, FAQ number 48. Can a saved person hate the King James Version? Well, being a Bible believer, I go to the Bible for my answers. John chapter 16, verse 13. Howbeit when he, the Spirit of truth, is come, he will guide you into all truth. For he shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak, and he will show you things to come. Okay, when the Spirit of truth has come, the Holy Spirit, when you get saved, he'll guide you into the truth. And the truth of the matter is, this King James Bible is the Word of God for the English-speaking world. And that's been demonstrated now for over 400 years. Okay, I mean, there, there's so much proof for this Bible, you know, the King James Bible. I, I, there's really no excuse anymore for people to defend these new versions. Uh, I know that there's a lot of liars out there that try to deceive people. You know, they're all agents of the Vatican, and um, it, it's just disgusting. But the fact is, you can find the answers, you know, and the Holy Spirit will guide you and lead you to this book. This book is clearly different than the new versions. Verse, uh, chapter 17, verse 6, here in the book of John. Let's read this verse. I have manifested thy name unto the men which thou gavest me out of the world. Thine they were, and thou gavest them me, and they have kept thy word. You see that thing over and over and over and over and over again. You know, before we go any uh, further here in the book of John, jump back in your Bible to uh, Psalm. Let's go back in the Bible to the book of Psalm. Uh, verse 138, or, yeah, Psalm 138, verse 2, excuse me. I will worship toward thy holy temple and praise thy name for thy loving kindness and for thy truth, for thou hast magnified thy word above all thy name. This book, I mean, I mean we're commanded in the Ten Commandments not to take the name of God in vain, but yet Psalm 138, verse 2 there says that he's magnified his word above his name. So how can a saved person say they love the Lord and yet hate this book? Doesn't make much sense, does it? Back to John chapter 17, verse 14. I have given them thy word, and the world hath hated them, because they are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. What separates us from the lost world? We have a book. King James Bible. John... 17, verse 16. They are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. Sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is truth. All right. But you can be a Christian, loving the Lord, and hate the King James Bible. I don't think so. Turn next to the book of Romans. Oops. Romans chapter 10, verse 17. So then faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. Lowercase w. It's all throughout the Bible. First Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 13. For this cause also thank we God without ceasing, because when ye receive the word of God, again the written word, lowercase w, Word of God, which ye heard of us, ye received it not as the word of men, but as it is in truth, the word of God, which effectually worketh also in you that believe. This book, your attitude to it, your attitude about it, will determine how much of it you understand. If you receive it as the word of men, God's not going to reveal anything to you. It's not going to work in you that believe. You have to have a belief in this thing for it to be effectual in your life for to affect change, for to affect uh, change in your life is what I mean. You know, if you don't believe it, if you say, well, this isn't God's book, God's not going to reveal anything to you. You know, and again, how can you say you love the Lord, but you hate the book? That tells you about Jesus Christ. doesn't make much sense. 1 Peter chapter 1. 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 23 says here, being born again, not of corruptible seed, but of incorruptible, by the word of God, which liveth and abideth forever. Uh, verse 24, for all flesh is as grass, and all the glory of man is the flower of grass. The grass withereth, and the flower thereof falleth away. But the word of the Lord endureth forever, and this is the word 
which by the gospel is preached unto you. So, for somebody to say that they love Jesus, but they hate the King James Bible, when the King James Bible is clearly superior to the new versions, uh, it comes from a totally different family of Greek manuscripts there, the received text. It's not the one that comes from the Vatican, uh, you know, the Vaticanus and Sinaiticus and the whole Alexandrian mess. Um, God has clearly had his hand of approval upon this King James Bible. Uh, no Bible has produced the amount of fruit that this Bible has. Uh, on and on and on and on and on. I mean, there's so much proof for the King James Bible. It gets tiring after a while with some of these new version people, you know, these new version defenders. You know, they come out with so many little, what about this, what about that, what about that, you know. And I just simply get to a point where I say, okay, what is the Word of God? They cannot hold up a perfect copy of God's Word that doesn't need to be corrected or changed or whatever else. They can't do it. So I say, and I have said for many years, I question people's salvation like that. I'm not just saying somebody that's newly saved and they've been led away by a James White or some other Satanist like that. I'm talking somebody that's heard, you know, they say I've heard both sides of the Bible version issue and I cannot stand the King James Bible. I will never be King James only. Somebody like that, do I believe they're saved? No, I don't. I do not believe somebody like that is saved. I don't believe the Holy Spirit can indwell somebody and they can have a hatred for the King James Bible. I understand that there are people that are King James Bible believing and then they get led astray with the error of the wicked. They, they get pulled into some of this destructive textual criticism stuff. They kind of pulled away from that a little bit, but they aren't going to spend their whole life in that. And if they do, I think that, you know, if they really do go into that camp, I think that uh, the Lord's going to take care of that situation very quickly. Uh, there's going to be chastening in their lives, and you will see that person, uh, their life will fall apart, essentially. Uh, I've seen that. I've seen that thing happen. talked about that in other videos. I'm not going to get into it here. But uh, I don't believe a saved person can hate the King James Bible. 